15. I, I, in the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. Ask somebody, say, neighbor, do you know he's worth it? Hallelujah. You got those them. But you got these folks that don't want to do nothing in the church. I'm trying to tell you, you ain't got to go to 24 hour fitness to get no workout. See, if you really come to the church and work the way you should. Other words, open up your mind and your heart to be accepted to the word of the Lord. And after you are accepted to the word of the Lord, you will open up your attitude and have an act of praise, giving God honor for the things that he has done. Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalm number 95. Because you know, in old church, mm, <laughs> I feel the Lord in here today. In the old church, the way we pray now, see the deacons would come down to the front and they would bow down. You understand what I'm saying? You know, they 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 would bow down and the ladies would kneel like this. And y'all can y'all see me? It was it wasn't nobody mad. The neighbor, the, the ladies would, would kneel like this here, and the men would kneel like this here. And I mean it seemed like the more they pray. It seemed like heaven got the news and, 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 and stuff was being done and changes was coming and, and people were being delivered and, and people were being healed. But now we done got this modern thing. You know, that's, that's old school, you know. Man, I can't get on my knee. I can't, man, if I get on my knee. But see, back in the day, them old men had arthritis then. I wish I had somebody. Arthritis just didn't come today. Arthritis just didn't come in the last four or five years. Arthritis been here. We just didn't know what the name of it was. Because they would just say, I feel some aches and pains. And I really don't understand what it is. But they still kneel down on their knees. But, but look what it says in, in, in the number 95 in verse number 6. It says, oh, come, let us worship, because nobody wants to bow down. Come, let us worship and bow down. He said, let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. But come and let us worship. You got to worship him. Worship means you worship him because of who he is. We ain't got to what he done done for you yet. You worship him because he's the Lord thy God. He is our maker. He is the creator of the universe. He's God. He's God all by himself. And I'm wondering, do you know him? I wish I just had somebody. I'm wondering, is it anybody here that really know him for yourself? And, and, and have you just experienced a God moment for yourself? I'm going to say that one more time. I say, have you experienced a God moment for yourself when you know mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousins, friends, nobody, co-workers couldn't do it, but God stepped in. God stepped in. God turned it around. Is it anybody that know God is able? Hallelujah. I feel that preaching spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't know what y'all come here to do But I come here to give him some praise mm -hmm. Go to the Psalms 135 Because we got these folks That don't want to stand up in church Tell your neighbor you ought to be on your feet sometime You're on your feet when you go to the courthouse. Yesterday, my feet was hurting so bad when I got home. I heard up and kicked off them tennis. And I feel like I'm in pretty good shape, but my feet. Y'all don't hear me. Because I stood on them all day. At the game, there was no bleachers. And I didn't know that we needed some chairs. So I had to walk back and forth trying to get comfortable. 
So they ignore my feet, Charles. I would move every play. I would move back and forth down the field. Because make, it made, it, it, I thought it made me feel a little better, but my feet was getting worse. <laughs> I wish I had a witness, but nobody wants to stand in the church, and there's nothing wrong with our feet. And I see Deacon Green, when the Holy Ghost come, I see Deacon Green tries his best to stand up. And we know Deacon Green has problems. You understand what I'm talking about? We, we know this, Todd, but we, we know he has problems, but he still tries to stand up and hold himself up on his cane. And some of us don't even have a cane. I wish I had somebody. And we don't even want to get up and give God no praise. I can't stand up that long. Reverend Tate needs to go on close, praise and wish about. That's too long now. Some of y'all said it this morning. But in the Psalm 135 in, in verse number 2. It said, ye that stand... In the house of the Lord, in the court of his house of our God. Ye that stand. You have to stand sometime. Standing is another form of respect and praise. Somebody understand what I'm talking about. It's, it's another form of respect and praise. How can you stand for the mayor, but you won't stand for the Holy Ghost? How can you stand for the judge, but you won't stand for the Holy Ghost? You, you won't stand when the anointing, you, you, you act like you just too caught up to get up and give God a worship. I wish I had a witness in here. Let, let, let me move, let me move. I got to go to the book of Acts now. Number three. Hallelujah. See, people sit here and, and try to tell you that you shouldn't do this in the church, and that's old-fashioned. I don't know about nobody else. I'd rather have some old-fashioned ways and really know the Lord. Y'all not saying, oh, I wish I just had somebody that wasn't afraid. I'd rather have some old-fashioned ways. I wish I just had a witness. Now, in Acts number 3, verse number 8, because it talk, we're talking about walking and leaping. Because when you see people get up in the church and they start doing their thing and they start and people wondering why are they doing that they got a reason I wish I had somebody you don't know like I know uh 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 I'm gonna say it one more time you don't know like I know go on touch somebody grab them by the hand look them straight in the eye and say neighbor you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me say that's the reason why you see me walking that's the reason why you see me dancing and leaping because he done done some stuff. But it says, and he leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And I just want to know today, why don't we praise him? Why are we so cute in the church now? Why is church becoming a fashion show? I, I wish I had somebody. I, I don't understand why. Why? It's, it's all about what we got on and it's not about what we're receiving. I wish I had. Yeah, I believe that you ought to look nice. Yeah, because, you know, I don't feel that you should look nicer going to the club than you do coming to the house of the Lord. But I do feel after you get here, that you ought not to be, your clothes shouldn't be that important. That you're not worried about giving God praise. Because we got to realize when we praise God, we're letting the Lord know that we love him and respect him and give him all honor and glory for the things that the Lord has done. Tell somebody, glory be to the Lord for all the things that the Lord has already done. And touch somebody say, neighbor, have he done anything for you? <laughs> say, neighbor, I don't mean to bother you, but if he done done some things for you, you ought to have an act of praise. Say, neighbor, your hands ought to go in there, waving to the Lord and giving God some respect and some honor. Because the Lord has really, 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 really been good to 